Hey everyone, welcome back to the Clueless Dad. I am in Japan at the in-laws place and I'm going to be doing an unboxing. This is a quote-unquote simple fence. Uh, this is made by Smart Angel. This is, I think, the house brand for Nishimatsuya, which is a uh, Japanese baby and maternity store product chain. You see my video, I did a virtual tour of that store uh, in my last Japan trip and now I'm back and our kid is out of control over here. He's walking now and that means he's walking all kinds of places he shouldn't be. For the most part, this house is relatively baby proof, but uh, definitely behind the kitchen counter is one place he shouldn't be. So since we got here last week, uh, we've been piling stuff in front of there just to keep him from going back there. But if his mom or his grandma is back there cooking and making all kinds of noise, he can't help himself but try to figure out what's going on back there. And that means basically climbing over anything and everything we put in his way uh, to get to mommy. So now we are going on the offensive with a fence. So this is, uh, as you can see, uh, extendable fence goes from 60 to 90 centimeters and it's about 60 centimeters high. So uh, you can do the math if uh, you're working on Imperial, but basically it's, you know, it's about this high off the ground. Um, and uh, what else? This is actually the small size. They make a medium and a large, and the large one is actually quite wide. I think it's like almost two meters wide in the, in the widest thing. So it can block a, a, a relatively wide hallway, or uh, if there's like an open doorway between two parts of a room, uh, it can actually block the whole thing. And uh, it's, you know, you can see kind of some typical use cases. This is exactly what we're doing here, which is blocking uh, the back area of a kitchen. And uh, this one, the key thing to note is that there's no gate. It's basically just all stepping over. So it's really a fence and not a gate, which is actually in the name, right? The only other thing to note is uh, that this has like a kind of a mesh and uh, you can see here it's black. They come in, a, in at least two colorways. Uh, at the store they had both a brown one and this gray one and, and actually, although I think the brown one would match this house better, the gray is a little bit better. It's not as quite as dark. So anyway, let's just pop it open and see what's inside. And I should note that this thing only cost $20 for the small size, not even $20. It's about 2,000 yen, which is probably 19 or $18 right now at the current exchange rate. So pretty simple. Uh, it comes with the mesh and some instructions and then two bags with four bars. And I'm guessing this is the cross one that's expandable, as you can see. And this is the vertical one, which obviously holds these two guys apart so um without reading the instructions let's just get straight to this okay so there are some japanese instructions no english unfortunately not a single word of english on the whole thing uh but i think i can figure it out between the pictures and my japanese reading ability so let's give it a try Okay, so that's actually not too hard. There's really not much to it. Um, the trickiest part is just getting these vertical bars to uh, mate onto these horizontal bars. And so this is the part that, uh, if you twist it, screws in and out. And it actually says in Japanese, um, I guess, tighten, loosen, or extend and retract, something like that. It says nobiru in chizimi, I guess. Um, anyway, so that's got that. It's got a rubber kind of end here, which is the part that pushes up against the wall or the cabinet. Um, so hopefully it won't leave any scuff marks. Uh, the thing is disassemblable if you basically just kind of shove this tab down and then you can slide it back out, which I won't do right now. Um, I guess the only other thing that's somewhat annoying is uh, you have to adjust both the top and the bottom uh, separately and try to get them to be basically even. But I guess if you're putting it up against a wall, it'll be pretty clear really fast uh, when it gets to that spot. Um, the only other thing I would say is that uh, there's sort of nothing to keep it taut um, when it's not fully out. So if you're in the less than, you know, less than whatever, maybe halfway mark, you have a lot of extra slack here. 
and so this part might come loose or be loose or hang loose but uh, it's not the end of the world um, I guess if you really wanted to you could put a clip on it or do something like that uh, just to keep it taut but it doesn't really matter um, okay so that's basically it uh, I'm gonna go try and install it okay so here's where we're gonna put it uh, in the kitchen way uh, this is actually a sliding wall that goes into the tatami room so uh, unfortunately I, this is not a solid wall so I got to be a little bit careful uh, as I slide this guy in place because um, I don't want to like drive it through here or totally get this thing off the rails but I think if I do it on the edge where it should be solid frame it should be okay there's a little bit of a lip here which is probably good uh, so that if he pulls it'll at least catch on that and let's just get it set up and so this one there's maybe I don't know couple of millimeters of space I can just tighten it up and I think the trick is to just get it tight enough without too tight okay seems pretty solid um, I think if he really rammed into it it might come loose but uh, that's probably as tight as I want to make it without potentially getting this door damaged um, and it seems to be holding pretty well on the rubber feet here on the wood. So anyway, let's give it a try like this uh, and see if my son can destroy it. I'm sure he can if he tries hard enough, but uh, maybe for a while it'll actually hold up. Okay, and uh, one other thing. Let's see how it is stepping over it. So not too bad. Um, I'm sure some adults will. I'm sure some adults will probably end up tripping on this once in a while. Uh, my mother-in-law is quite a bit shorter than I am, so she's going to have a lot of exercise doing the hurdles here, uh, especially because she goes in and out of the kitchen a lot more than I do, but uh, hopefully she can live with it for another two weeks. I actually managed to get some uh, footage of my kid's first encounter with the simple fence. Let's see if it holds up or not. So as you can see, actually did a pretty good job. Uh, the whole rest of the trip, kid couldn't get in there, did exactly what it's supposed to. So definitely a thumbs up from the coolest dad on the Nishimatsuya Smart Angel Simple Fence S size. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, please give a comment if you have any feedback, any tips, any tricks, let us know. This has been the Simple Fence by Smart Angel, aka Nishimatsuya's house brand. So check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time here on The Clueless Dad. Bye.